let's figure out what the heck's going on here. For 11 seasons, Ghost Hunters gave us thrills and chills exploring the world of paranormal activity and the world beyond. Now, 15 years in the making, Ghost Hunters is back. And joining me right now is original show's host, Grant Wilson and Mustafa Latogari. Hey guys, greetings. Hey Jeff, how are you? Well, let's talk about Ghost Hunters. Let's talk about this reboot, 15 years in the making. And Grant, you've been quoted saying, you don't chase ghosts, you chase the truth. Correct, yes. Yes, the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I didn't know if you were going to follow. Um, no, yes. Uh, the, uh, that's the kind of... The misconception about paranormal investigation is that we're going in to, to chase ghosts and we're going in to have an experience mm -hmm. or to try to find evidence of the afterlife. And that's not really our goal at all. We're trying to gather evidence because evidence provides information. Yeah. And we have that information. We can figure out who these entities are and then we can help them. And if we help the entities, um, we can help the client. Um, so it's about these entities thinking of them less as ghosts and more of as real people. Um, everything just kind of makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I always say it's like we don't really hunt ghosts. We hunt evidence. But Evidence Hunters is a terrible name for a show. <laughs> so that's just bad. It's true. <laughs> Now, Grant, tell me about putting together the perfect team for this new series, including Mustafa there next to you. So we, um, you know, when when decided to to do the show, um, obviously we looked to the original team. They're all doing different shows themselves, and so this provided a unique opportunity to have a uh, a new team and bring some fresh faces to the to the field. And um, so I was really worried about who I would have on that team, and I wanted people with real world knowledge, real world skills, um, and people who had experience, but most importantly, people who had heart, people who are really, really nice because you're going in to comfort people, mm -hmm. and that's our number one priority. Uh, ghosts are kind of second. In fact, a lot of times when we investigate, um, we don't find any paranormal activity, You'll mm -hmm. find, but you'll still help the people. Um, so, uh, you know, we did a search. I could have brought all my buddies on the show, um, but I didn't feel that was fair. We did an honest search. Um, among everybody, and uh, these are the guys that, that I fell in love with and I think are great, and I think, uh, I think you'll love them too. <laughs> <laughs> he got himself the best darn researcher money can buy, and his name is Mustafa Gadalari. <laughs> He's humble too, clearly. Extremely humble, the most humble, let me tell you. <laughs> Let's make a smorgasbord of energy that this entity could draw from. Set a couple of these out. Sure. Hey, is there somebody here that looks a little bit different than us? My name is Grant. This is Mustafa and Brandon. Bam. Did you hear that? That was loud. Should I go check it out? All right. I'll record on my iPhone if anything. What is that? Shh, shh. Did you hear that? Someone comes in voice. Yeah. Ooh, someone like warming up. Ooh. Go out there. Okay. Hello? So we're sitting there trying to interact with this entity and right off the bat we start hearing noises from downstairs. Guys went and checked it out, and we couldn't figure out what that noise was coming from. Wait, this recorder's not on. What? what? The recorder's not it on. It was recording and going. Yeah, look. it was recording the whole time. It's dead. It took it from the recorder, not the lights? Here, we're looking at the lights, waiting for it to drain. And it drained it from the recorder. Those are brand new batteries, too. Half. Half it's now. It's got half, half now. But why would it have died? Here we go again. Yeah. The draw situation. Draws that down enough where this shuts off. I can't power anymore. He's not draining the batteries. It's the draw. You understand the difference? Yeah, huh? I understand. Okay, I started again. This is Brandon, Mustafa, and Grant. Up at the very tip top of the balcony, Pocatello High School, 1.52 a.m. Oh. oh. Well, this is the light just went off? Whoa. The light just flickered. What the frig? There uh, it is. Oh, there it oh, is. Light just went off. Light just went off. That one just went off. Light down. Now, Mustafa, you're a historian of paranormal activity. Have you ever cross-referenced, you know, past cases, historical cases, with current cases you're working on? Do they kind of sound familiar? Oh, okay. So I can't spoil anything, and I and I talk about this last case that we did a lot, but it was um, 
you know, we went to go investigate a place where there was a lot of uh, deaths on uh, the property, on the premises. So narrowing down any type of activity or any entity where we thought we made contact with an entity, narrowing down who that was is a very, very tall order. But synthesizing the information of the experiences that people had on night one of the investigation with my research with locals, I met with a local newspaper, mm -hmm. met with somebody who was a local in the town, took all that data together and looking at a specific story that I saw, I was like, it has to be this person. Let's test this. So we went in the second night and I got to tell you, man, there is nothing more satisfying than when you have a hypothesis and it ends up it ends up being true. And that's exactly what happened. We established contact with the person. And it's because of our experiences and the, and the research that I did. Um, and it was, it was amazing. And then we're there for a week for these cases, but there's a lot of research that goes on beforehand. Mm -hmm. So it's like, this is like, I eat, live, sleep, and breathe it. Shower it, too. Yeah, and you see, you see a lot of that on the show. You see us um, coming up with these theories, mm -hmm. these hypotheses, and testing them, and, and they work. Well, guys, I was visiting Dublin one time and I took their haunted city tour and they claim to be the most haunted city in the world. Would you agree with that statement? So a lot of cities will say they're the most haunted city in the world. <laughs> yeah, Newark uh, will say it's the most haunted city. Right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Ohio thinks it's the most haunted yeah. state. And, you know, that's pretty creepy up there. But um, from a paranormal standpoint. Yeah. But um, Dublin, sure, that makes a lot of sense. Of course, it's, it's old. People want to know about the unknown. So congratulations. And when you have time, come visit us in Las Vegas. We'd love to have you. I'm, okay. I'm down. I'm going to go see the, the Raiders go to Vegas and play, man. I'm excited about that. Such a <laughs> fitting migration. I'm very excited. Okay. Yeah. We had to flee our house. We're here to help. I heard a man running up the stairs. It's coming closer. I've been doing this for 30 years. I chase the truth. Only with the truth can I truly help someone. Whoa! Ghost Hunters returns August 21st on A&E. You can catch the new reboot of Ghost Hunters on the A&E Network. Also, for more reviews and interviews, surf on over to my website, VegasFilmCritic.com. I'm Jeffrey G. Howard in Las Vegas. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.